Hello and welcome to Let's Play Net. Oh dear god, it's crashing. Okay, it doesn't seem to like recording that. Ah, there we go. Right. <laughs> Thought I was freaking out for a minute there. I was like, ah! Mythos. What could it be? Well, you probably already know because you've seen the thing we. The actual title of the video. But, I played this game many years ago on a friend's computer. Completed on that friend's computer, but still, it was a very long time ago. So I remember most of the story, but I can't remember the exact details of it. Anyway. Yeah, suspense. I've also got a widescreen fix for it. So it's not running in the same resolution as CRTs, which is three by four by three ratio. I think it was sixteen hundred, twelve hundred. That was the maximum at that time. But anyway, Who first is human born Richard in space. Cromwell. He is history itself. The first human born in outer space. <laughs> His birth marked the end of the golden age of space exploration. The new age came to be known as the colonization era. The moon colony was established, and not long after, the first murder in space took place. Huh. Interesting. Also, another thing that's interesting is this um, has them um, going to the moon first. Well, in the AI wars, first. Earth's economy collapsed. Entire continents were left hmm. without energy and information. Interesting. A planet-wide ban on artificial intelligences was put in place. At just ten years old, the legendary Richard Cromwell signed the Earth Sector Convention. Hmm. One boy symbolizing an entire people's aspiration towards a civilized, peaceful future. Hmm. Who was Richard Cromwell? He was my father. On the day I was born, he bought an Orbital Limited bond in my name. Today, it's what worth 13,000 times its original value. The year was 2067. Well, no wonder you got the back of the one the child and the thing with born in space, meant to be the salvation my of mankind. My father was appointed captain of Noah's Ark. To this day, uh, I cannot forget the awe that ship inspired in me. It took off when I was ten. Oh, it does look epic. It was around that time that I decided I wanted to become an astronaut. And it has no I gained parts, a dream, which is interesting. but lost a father. No, his art looks like Once I graduated from the ship. academy, I signed up with the Federation fleet. As it turned out, I joined at the worst possible time. <clears throat> OSEC, Orbital Limited, Aerospace, one after the other, the colonies of the mega corporations seceded. I think it's about 40 the academy, this time. We could see where I'll it was do the math later, but can I'll it put was a uh, little I think it's about 40 People killed each other, took all the money they had earned and spent it together. The area around Mars became a battleground. It was not our war. We were no more than foot soldiers. Outer space, space is a calm place. My ship was hit in an encounter near Phobos, and for ten Earth years I orbited the red planet the in a cloud yeah. of space debris. It's about to say, I think that's a moon. Below me, the Martian war was raging. Mars. I could only stare, my eyes frozen to glass. But never mind. That they finally found me is nothing short of a miracle. They rescued me hmm. and reanimated me. Twenty-one away. Oh, well, they did want the big. No one seemed to care which side I'd been not. fighting on. I became a war hero in a war that we ultimately lost. The whole of space has changed. The ISA has little authority beyond the orbit of the moon. Seems like you're getting Corporate a free card fleets for a and illegal AIs control the outer solar system. With the boom in colonization, 
There aren't enough experienced captains to meet the demand. Space Tech made me an offer. I took it. Wow. Out of all the names they could have chosen, they went with Space Tech. Uh, anyway. Yeah, he seems to be getting a free card for a lot of stuff. It's just like, well, you know what? Have fun. I'm the first human born in space. Obey me. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I can't get the 9 to 8 to him, unfortunately. Well, anyway. Um, beginner, experienced, professional. I think we'll go for the hardest one, just, you know, for the sake of why am I doing this to myself? Anyway, yep. I know. Okay, I did this quickly just so I could see if it worked. Um, can I just throw it? Ah, right, delete. Delete? No? Delete? Okay, let's just load it then. Or not. Interesting. Give me a little second, I'll be back. Okay, it's not letting me stop recording, that's interesting. Hmm. This is an interesting predicament. One minute. Let's try that again. Right. Um, here goes. Right. That's what I want. Marcus Cromwell, Captain's anyway. Log. 0309-2111 We have left Earth's sector. Our destination is Jupiter. We face a journey of almost eight months. Hmm. On the way, we're picking up two space tech cargo ships. They're waiting in orbit around the moon. Okay. One I have been assigned as the leader of the convoy. 0509-2111 Surprisingly. The two cargo ships have joined us. Their crews are minimal. But the two captains could talk the rivets out of a bulkhead. <laughs> it's going to be a long eight months. Fortunately, the Stiletto's 12th sister ship, the ISF Hawking, will be joining us. It's sailing under the ISA flag, but the captain, Francis DeLorean, is an old friend of mine. So, ISA... 0712-2111. ISA in space? I joined space the firm three one? years ago. Seems. So much has happened since then. The Mars quarantine, the Ceres crisis. I wonder if this mission will be remembered as the Jupiter incident. Oh, facepalm. <laughs> I wonder if this incident will be remembered as the Jupiter incident. 2312-2111. Like an early Christmas gift, the Hawking finally arrived, two days behind schedule. Francis hasn't changed. It's good to see the old man again. Anyway, it's a little bit of a blue herring, and you'll see why later. 0402-2112 It seems I was tempting fate. This mission may yet be known as the Jupiter Incident. Space Tech spy satellites are broadcasting some alarming pictures. The Kisaki Syndicate's recent activities have generated a lot of attention. I suspect it's no accident that Francis is on his way there. It's reassuring to have the ISA on our side. Interesting. 0103-2112. The final briefing has arrived. Mission template, reconnaissance, espionage. The Kisaki Syndicate's technological prowess has the mega corporations running scared. Hmm. According to our intelligence, the source of their revolutionary advances is the Shokenja research station in Jupiter sector. Our task is going to involve surveillance of the station. It may even extend to sabotage or a hostile incursion, if those are our orders. Every corporation in existence would surprised. love to pry into the Syndicate's research data. The situation is tense. A confrontation is almost inevitable. Almost that is. 2004-2112. Humans love We have conflict. arrived at Jupiter Sector and will soon reach Europa. Hey. The convoy is heading towards the twin stations That's Sunflower familiar. and Michelangelo. We're receiving a code red from the base. It entails the highest level of corporate security People measures. Seen, um, our Artemis um, live stream will know that. <laughs> it sounds awfully familiar. Yep. Hmm. Anyway. Wow, it's pretty nasty.
nasty stuff inside that. There's um, radioactive stuff, there's biological stuff. Michelangelo Station hailing convoy TTC 24 7. You have reached the arrival zone. Welcome to Jupiter Sector. Thank you, Michelangelo. Convoy That's dismissed. I'm yeah. handing the ships over to you. I can't believe I'm speaking with the Captain Cromwell. They're all talking about you back at the station, sir. It's not often we get celebrities out here. Did you have a pleasant flight? Pleasant? That's not the word I'd use. The most exciting thing to happen in eight months was the toilet backing up. Okay. Um, you said 12 months earlier, I believe. Anyway. Ships and objects under the player's command are listed on the left. On the right, all the objects that cannot be controlled are listed on the right. These may be neutral or hostile. Um, space station, navigation points, platforms, blah de blah de blah. Um, yeah, you can do that. Just letting you see all this. I had to check objectives. And the game can be paused with the space bar. Anyway. I have transmitted the coordinates to each of the ships. Please stand by in the designated navigation area. Stay clear of the asteroids. We're on a level 2 alert. Minefields are active. I repeat, minefields are active. Michelangelo, we've got a curve yeah, right. Me move right. Yes, well. Captain, I know. We had an accident a few days ago that left four people dead, so the check-in protocols have been stepped up. The Sunflower is ready to receive you. This circle is um, our height relative, I believe. Anyway. And focus the camera by double clicking on any objects. Uh, blah blah blah, you know. Double clicking on an object makes the camera jump to its following link. Explore objects. If the double clicked in an empty part of space, the camera is released. So if I can go like that, then I can, you know. Then anyway, let's get back to the stiletto. Um, I'll follow these guys actually. Apparently I'm not meant to have control. Mouse scroll wheel or behind both my buttons and moving it because in the past mouse wheels were not um, common. In position. Camera rotation may rotate the camera by holding the right mouse button. Um, link to an object, then it starts to circle around the given object. Like that, yeah. Talking to Stiletto. We're leaving the convoy and continuing our voyage to the ISA base. Okay, it's sure. It's been a pleasure travelling with you, Marcus. Talk with us next time you're in the neighbourhood. Oh, yes, I'll be more than happy to give you a rematch. Maybe by then you'll have exhausted the last of your lucky streak. I might just take you up on that, Francis. Don't get your hopes up about the rematch, though. Strategos is all about strength of tactics. Luck doesn't come into it. Seriously, Strategos. <laughs> we shall see, Captain. Uh... Until next time, Hawking out. Goodbye, Hawking. Well, to Stiletto. Thanks for the escort, Captain. Travelling with you was truly an honour. May our paths cross again soon. Stiletto, approach the designated nav point. Okay, sure. Um, list of commands position. that can be issued and, uh, can be found at the bottom of the screen. Then issue the command, choose your ship, then click the command, then right click on the uh, target. Now approach the navigational point. Some commands can only be given. These can only target hostile or friendly units. Some commands do not need a friendly target. Sorry, do not need a target. Selected command is lit. Issued command button is blink. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. The issued command button is blinking. The unavailable command buttons are greyed out. The starships avoid obstacles automatically and a collision cannot occur. Yeah, so they say. We'll find a way. Hey. Aye, aye, sir. You can also just right click aye, on aye, this. Sir. Some of them are contextual, Understood. like that. Aye, aye, sir. But anyway. Yeah. Some of the objects are just contextual, but we can't see all the objects that we can do right now. Because there are all these commands, and there's also two here one that lets you control power, and one that lets you control. Um, oh, no, sorry, that one's power. Is it? No, wait, sorry, power comes up here. Yeah, power comes up in this little panel here. That one's for repair, and that was for choosing what weapons fire. You can choose them manually, or you can let it do it automatically. There we go. I decided to follow these guys because I remember it being around about these guys. Task complete. Can't remember what to do from here. Sir, the Sunfire fighters have arrived. Oh, sir, the Sunfire fighters have arrived. 
Police on flyer patrol calling Stiletto. Do you read us, please you confirm. Stop holding your nose when Encoding you okay. We are receiving a patrol. I call Attention, it, I'll Stiletto. Say. The minefield protecting the sunflower I, is active. Yeah. We are escorting you in. Copy that, Stiletto. We copy. Now just bog it. Copy that, patrol. You can start off now. We're going to catch up. Okay, so... But just fly Above towards it. the base. All oh, right. Okay, I get it. These guys are circling me, I believe. Yeah, they're just circling around me. Oh, they're going around the base. These guys are circling around me. Yeah, these guys are circling around me. <coughs> okay. Stiletto, hold your position. We have reached the minefield. Affirmative. In position. Stop the ship! No! Yeah, we know. Do it now! Okay. Mm, don't shoot. Oh, well. Nope. Wait here tanker. until the sunflower deactivates the mines. Another tanker. Another tanker. Another tanker. And another one. That's the only, what, destroyer? Deactivation machine? completed. You may head for the sunflower now. Yeah. Uh, it's a warship capable of high. No, Stiletto. I with high capacity Copy weapon patrol. systems at night. Boy, oh are. boy, what a day to be on patrol. The company has built at least 50 Stiletto class Oof, vessels. Interesting. And this was the first. It's like the big granddaddy of them all. <laughs> You're a pilot's pilot. Have you ever served on a Stiletto class corvette? No, sir. We only have two light corvettes in the sector. Huh, Captain? Sir, aren't you the Marcus Cromwell? Feel free to come over when you're through with your duties. I'll have someone show you around. Thank you, sir. I'll do that, sir. Uh, sir, may I invite you for a drink in the canteen? I'd be honored to meet the great Marcus Cromwell in person. I mean, if you have time, sir. That is, I don't mean to impose, sir. Oh, it's just... just with pleasure. I started <laughs> as a fighter pilot myself. Oh, sorry. You could just relax a little. Take it the way it comes. He might have been born in space, but he's nothing special. He's still a human being. Being born in space does not give you a special property, like being Stiletto. born in a different country. One of the mines didn't activate properly. I've marked it for you. Get the hell out of there! F4, Understood. run away! Run away command, then right click on the target. If you want to run away from... Run away from the active mine marked with red. Because it's evil. Then they mar miraculously deactivate it, if I remember right. Just like, oh yeah, by the way, we've deactivated it now, and you're like, Alright, you managed to deactivate it. Crisis See? averted. Okay. You can continue to the base. Be cool, people. <laughs> Be cool, people. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't just that I was a terrible technician and minefield operator. Just be cool, relax. Man, there's nothing to be afraid of. Ah, sorry. The fools! I wonder if there's any completed mods. I've seen a lot of um, half-completed mods. They're pretty damn good, but... You know, they're only half completed, so it's like... Eh, there's no real campaign here. <sighs> anyway. Just wait for Marcus Cromwell to actually get his arse moving. I wish I could get access to power because it would divert power to the engines to get this bloody thing moving. Oh. Anyway. Right, the asteroid going to be there. Yeah, the letter calling Sunflower. Thanks for warning us. What's the latest news? Due to the events on Mars, the corporation introduced a global embargo against aerospace. But the sector remains calm, sir. A long sought class heavy corvette arrived at OSEC. The rockets won the it's spring championship on Earth. Shit. That's all. I see. Can you link me up with Colonel Finn? I'm requesting an encoded channel. Oh, of course, sir. The giant One moment, please. Effect. You know. Because it's turning, it would either gyroscopic effect, so when you try and turn, it would resist. 
You could roll quite easily, but yeah, rolling's not very useful in a dogfight, let's be honest. Not unless you're gonna use it with pitch. Or yaw. Anyway, yeah. I'm hoping you're enjoying this so far. It's going to be quite dull right now, but yeah. It will pick up quite a bit later on. And I'll actually be able to commentate what I'm doing apart from going, Ooh, that looks pretty! Turn it, it looks so pretty! Oh, crap. Right, there we go. This is Colonel Finn. Greetings, Cromwell. Greetings! I'm glad you made it here in one piece. Greetings, Spanish Russian. You. Oh no, well, not quite Russian. Greetings, Mr. Cromwell. Anyway, yeah. That's the end of the first mission. Um, evacuation. Evaluation. Roughly eight months after your departure, you have successfully arrived at the Jupiter base of the Space Tech Research Syndicate. Colonel Finn Goldburn is going to inform you about your duties soon. No losses, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing because nothing happened. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, but I think I'll make it in the next episode, I'll continue. But, yeah. If you like, actually, I'll let this... Welcome, run. Captain Cromwell. Welcome! The Sunflower's light corvettes have installed the espionage satellites you delivered a few days ago. The results are rather promising. The radius of the sensors has increased significantly. Yay. One of them has already provided us with some very useful information. We have managed to locate and identify the Ronin cargo ship of the Kisaki the Syndicate. Wandering Samurai. So you've managed to identify the Wandering Samurai. It is flying directly towards the Shukenja base. Oh. It won't stop at the Michelangelo. Oh dear. That doesn't look good that you can't Captain, see all Captain, your that. task is to meet with the ship at the given coordinates, then to investigate her cargo. Okay, Reports sure. show that the Ronin is not armed with military-grade weaponry, and no escort ships have been detected. Mm hmm It takes quite a long time to fly anywhere, doesn't it? Anyway, as I said, we shall return in the next episode. I'm just making sure that I can't change anything. Because, you know, why not? Hmm, interesting. Anyway. Um, space to east. Nah, we're locked out of changing anything, unfortunately, it seems. Although, we could add batteries, maybe, but it looks at that. No, we can't. We've got no resources, never mind. Anyway, as I said, until next time, all the best, and hope you enjoy. Um, it feels really awkward not being able to start this recording without holding, without holding the button going to the side it was about to say, but then it stopped because I held the button. <laughs> anyway, see you in a little second.